Welcome to Circus Circus, you guys. The very nice lady at the desk put us into the West Tower. It's considered the best tower from her opinion. So we are in a West Tower King room. Let's give you the tour. Cinnamon roll. Is it cinnamon the roll? Yeah. They actually uh, have an a la carte menu here. If you want to take home anything from Circus Circus, the comforter is $75, so a steal for a comforter. This can be yours. So that was our room tour for you. First impressions, this room is really old. We're quickly realizing that Circus Circus is gigantic and there is a ton to show you. The Adventure Dome, the Midway Games, the pool. There's a lot to do and we gotta get started. I think we're gonna head to the pool right now, so let's go. Turns out you have to go outside and cross the street to get to the pool. Okay, so we crossed the street and made it to the Circus Circus pool. It looks like there are just like two pools here. One actually goes all the way to six feet. And then they have a couple of slides, like really tall slides. Just got back from the pool and we are starving. They do have a lot of restaurant options here and a lot of them are fast and cheap, which sounds just what we need. Okay, we finished eating. Uh, it took almost an hour to get food in the food court. The lines are out of control and the girl told me it's like that all the time. You guys, we got some wristbands to go on some rides. I don't know, they look a little sketchy. We'll see if we go on, I'm kind of scared. We're inside the Adventure Dome. This is here inside Circus Circus, keeping in the family-friendly theme. Tons of rides and cool stuff to do in here. 40 bucks for the VIP passes if you're like an adult and 20 for little kids. We found a ride my speed. We're gonna ride the carousel. walking around the Adventure Dome. They have like some really big roller coasters here. They have a couple of little baby rides. There's a couple of like shows and simulators. We went on this Angry Birds simulator thing that was... Oh, oh. 
<laughs> but if you had kids, I think they would love this. Teenagers, like people here for thrills. It, it's a fun time for families. All right, to explore the Adventure Dome, that was fun. Let's go check out the Midway, which is actually on the casino floor and they have a bunch of games and other stuff. <laughs> Upstairs above the casino floor is the Midway. Bunch of arcade games. Lots to play. There's also a McDonald's up here. You have to load up a card to get some tokens, and then you try to win prizes. So it's like gambling for children. Ready? Uh, uh, no, you're gonna beat me. Ah, oh, you won. Mr. Ruby won, but he gave it to me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we blew through our credits really fast. Uh, 10 bucks doesn't get you very far, but Mr. Ruby did win me a prize. A circus show will start like afternoons and go all through the evening, and one of the shows is about to start soon, so we're gonna check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Circus Circus is proud to present a celebration of fearless excitement on the flying trapeze. All right, the Midway was pretty cool. That's an awesome show that they put on. The trapeze artists were really incredible. And Dave the Clown doing his thing. Now I think it is time to check out the casino area and see what it's all about and see what kind of games we're looking at. There are a lot of games here on this casino floor, but it's also massive. There is also a lot of small children running around just in general in the casino, which is kind of trippy, just seeing like babies and little kids. had about enough of Circus Circus. Okay, you guys, it's time to go. Let me give you my final thoughts on Circus Circus. Okay, uh, so I feel a little weird giving my opinion on this hotel. Here's why. This hotel was built with the idea of trying to bring families to Las Vegas. And Vegas kind of got rid of that idea when they realized that families don't gamble. But this hotel is kind of like a relic left behind from that. And so I can't really fault anyone who brings their kids here. So I'm gonna try to review it with that in mind. Let's start talking about the room first. Obviously you guys saw from the room tour, like it's really old in here. Our toilet also, like the, the seat is like plastic and kind of broken. The TV was updated and nice. We actually ended up watching it last night, which was super ironic. Like I said, for this price point, I've seen worse, and you gotta get what you pay for with a room like this, so, you know, it is what it is, it's fine. Let's talk about the pool. The pool gave me, like, the feeling of being in, like, an abandoned theme park that's, like, still running. It was really bizarre, because, like, a lot of the signs and stuff were really sun-drenched, and you're, like, you're next to the motel in the parking lot, so it's just a very strange vibe. I do like that the pool goes down to six feet, 
So it is like very swimmable and that makes sense because it's for like families with kids and stuff. Okay, the casino. I don't like how big it is and that sounds weird but it's just like so long and it's all these little dark areas with slots and you can't really find what you want to play. The servers were good and I will say overall the service here was nice. The lady at the front desk was really polite. Like everybody we talked to that works here was really nice. I feel like I said to Mr. Ruby that I kind of felt like I was in like a Twilight Zone episode because like on the bottom floor was like the casino for the adults and then upstairs was like a circus. It was just very like strange. It was a strange feeling. Let's talk about all the family options though. So the Adventure Dome I think is great for kids and families. It kind of reminds me of like the Mall of America theme park a little bit. There were like big thrill rides for teenagers, but there were also little baby rides and anyone 33 inches or under is free to go in. So I mean tickets to get on the rides was a little pricey, but I feel like if you have a lot of kids and some of them are younger, it won't be too bad. And I saw a lot of families really enjoying themselves in there. I think even if you're not staying at Circus Circus and you have your kids with you, that's a good place to take them. Needless to say, we didn't we didn't enjoy our stay, you guys. It, it was not a fun stay. I, I won't be coming back personally, but like I said, it's not here for me. So I hope you guys at least enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And if you did and you're new, go ahead and hit subscribe. We are gonna be doing all kinds of more hotel reviews and I'm really hoping I like the next one more. I will see you guys there. I'm leaving now.